Shanley Pump and Equipment. Indoor. The LBU multi-stage centrifugal pump from Adur is ideally suited as a dissolved air flotation pump for adding dissolved air into clean and slightly polluted liquids. Adur DAF technology incorporates enrichment of water with air using a multi-phase pressure-boosted pump creating microbubbles for the removal of solids, oils, or grease from municipal and industrial wastewater. All Adur LBU pumps for DAF applications in North America and spare parts are available for immediate shipment from Shanley Pump and Equipment. Pump Assembly This is an instructional assembly video for the Adur LBU pump. This video is for LBU series pump sizes 403, 602, and 603. Before starting the assembly of your ADOR LBU pump, if you have any questions, we recommend that you contact the Shanley Pump Sales Engineer for an immediate response. Tools required for the ADOR LBU centrifugal pump a rubber mallet, small snap ring pliers, two 24 mm wrenches, a 13 mm wrench. A 10 mm wrench, a 3 8 inch Allen wrench, lubricant, and a strap wrench. Position the motor vertically with the motor shaft facing up and the motor coupling half on the motor shaft. Warning If your pump is stainless steel, it has a silicon carbide sleeve bearing on the end of the pump shaft as well as inside the suction casing. Be advised that these silicon carbide sleeves are extremely fragile. Take care not to damage them as you add the discharge casing, stage casings, and impellers onto the pump shaft. Mount the pump coupling half with pump shaft onto the motor half of the coupling. Tighten down the four coupling bolts and washers with a 13 mm wrench. Lubricate and carefully install the stationary face of the mechanical seal in the correct orientation into the pump discharge casing. Push the seal stationary face all the way until it is seated into the discharge casing. Install the pump discharge casing onto the motor mounting flange. Be careful not to damage the mechanical seal stationary face as you slip the pump discharge casing on the drive shaft and down onto the motor flange. Use a 3 8 inch Allen wrench and tighten down the bolts on the motor flange. Lubricate the rotating half on the mechanical shaft seal. Install the rotating half of the mechanical seal onto the drive shaft with the seal facing down and the spring on the top. Mount the retaining washer and then the snap ring on top of the mechanical seal with the snap ring pliers. Be sure to slide the snap ring down and into the groove on the shaft. Mount the first stage casing O-ring before you mount the casing on the pump and take care not to damage it during casing installation.
Mount the impeller key into the keyway on the shaft, tapping with a rubber mallet to make sure that it is seated all of the way into the keyway on the pump shaft. Mount the first stage casing. Mount the pump impeller in the correct orientation onto the drive shaft. Make sure to line up the impeller keyway with the key on the pump shaft. The impeller is designed to float on the shaft and it should move freely up and down on the shaft after installation. Install the O-ring onto the next stage casing and mount the casing, impeller key, and impeller as before. As noted before, there may be two to three impellers on each pump. Make sure that each impeller floats freely on the pump shaft. Lubricate and add the pump suction casing O-ring. Mount the pump suction casing and be careful not to damage the O-ring during assembly. As previously advised, if the pump is stainless steel, take care not to damage the silicon carbide bearing. Affix the four pump casing tie rods, nuts, and washers. Tighten in an alternating pattern using two 24mm wrenches until all bolts are tightened evenly. Check to make sure that the pump turns freely by hand, turning the pump shaft at the exposed pump coupling. Attach the pump shaft guard by installing two bolts and tighten with a 10mm wrench. Your pump is now completely assembled. The pump should be leak tested using water to check the shaft seal and casing O-rings for leakage before being reinstalled and put into service. If no leaks are present, the pump can now be reinstalled into the pump system. If you have any questions about or require spare parts for the repair of your ADUR LBU pump, please feel free to contact us for an immediate response at www.shanleypump.com or call 847-439-9200. We always have complete pumps and all spare parts in our inventory ready to ship the same day.